Now I just want to give you a fair warning here. This episode has a lot of this sort of thing. With me just right hunkered in here with the microphone on the camera almost in my mouth and me trying not to shout at you. Now if you don't like this sort of thing you won't like this episode because uh, all we're doing is we're putting railing on here and there's about only one way that I can do it and show it to you at the same time and uh, this is it so uh, yeah everything's pretty much the way we left it at the end of the last episode and you should recall that I was having a problem or I couldn't figure out why it was that the pin head wasn't pushing very down very hard on the bottom rail and it turns out that this thing was resting on here so the way to fix that is I just will move this up just a little bit and it'll give a bit of a steeper angle and I think it will just make it okay we'll try it now I'll reposition everything and bring it in nice and close and We'll give it a whirl. Okay, I think if I was to hook into just in behind this post here, I can maybe... That didn't work. I'm bending the rail. These rails they bend probably two or three times easier than the post does. Well let's see if we can do what I had originally tried to do before when I couldn't put enough pressure on and I was hold it like that. Okay right now this corner is in the right place but the rest isn't but I can push it around later maybe um, see if I can get in like this maybe that's not quite doing it is it now my problem is that yes I could glue it but I'm also going to end up gluing the pin head there and I don't Naturally, I don't want that, so... The very best would... Well, hey, it'd stay in there all by itself. Let's just try back in here again. I wonder if it's maybe because the railing is sprung too much the wrong way and it keeps wanting to jump out. Part of the problem is this pin is at too much of a slope and it uh, it's pulling the railing more than holding it down. You see it, it's, it'll stay that way by itself but the as you can see it's just not positioned right here. Well I wonder if maybe the thing to do is to is to glue it like like right around here and then pull this into shape. Well, maybe that's the way to go. Just let me uh, move the camera around just a little bit here. Now I know your angle is not too good there. And uh, what we've got is about a third of the way around from the left. Now I'll uh, position it and do the second third and then hopefully the corner is going to be more or less in the right place. Now it might not. Okay, let's see if we can move over about a third of the way more, which would be approximately here. I can just hook in and hold it down. Wants to pull back though, that's... OK, 
Okay, now this post here is not quite back far enough there. Now I, I know it's a way off here, but the, uh, the rest isn't bad. Just put, put a little bit right there. That'll just hold it. And then there's the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but just underneath the applicator there, that's, it's uh, not quite in the right place, but I don't think it's going to help any by drawing it this way. Maybe I could put just a tiny bit. No, maybe I better not. It might wick its way along to the right hand side of the uh, post that the pusher downer is against and then it'll be adhered in the wrong place. So just, we'll just wait a minute or two here. Okay, let's see what's going to happen now when we drag this around. Just reposition here a little bit. We'll hook in there. Alright, I think I'm going to just adhere just to the left of the post that the pusher dimer's on. And trust that it's not going to wick its way over too far to the right. just leave that. Now for the final adjustment here. Oh, it looks like the glue hasn't completely set there. Well, no it didn't. Let's get that dragged over there if we can. I'm adjusting the pliers here right now. That's why all that extra wiggling's going on. Okay, there. Something like that. And this has to go back just a little. Push down on this post very gently. Somehow this doesn't seem to be in the right place. Oh, did it again. I wonder if possibly the CA glue is cured and what we're looking at is not liquid CA here. Let's just come in from the back just a little bit more. if I could just move this just a little bit more here. Well, let's just wait a few minutes. I didn't give it long enough, obviously. I would say approximately an hour has passed now. And so obviously this CA that we just put on here is going to be cured. Um, let's just carefully see what would happen if we release this. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's cured. So can we pull this a little bit more into the corner here, like this? Now, <clears throat> got to get this around here. You know, one of the viewers had a good idea. He says, uh, why don't you have a second pusher downer? And right now, that would actually come in quite handy. I could leave this one here and I could put another one right here makes a lot of sense. Thanks for the idea. Now, I don't have it yet. I wonder if maybe I was to reposition up here and go like that. All right, now I could I could put a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue here. Just push that in. And I don't need to worry tuck this in behind that ledge. Probably can't see it, but I can see it. 
Okay, just tuck it in behind that ledge there. Now if we put a little bit of CA right there, maybe at the post, come in from behind here. Well, let's not overdo it. I probably did. All right, let's let that cure. Okay, let's just carefully move down here a little bit, like this. We'll hook in here. Maybe angle a little bit more, so I'm pulling on it in the right direction. Now there is not much of a ledge to keep the bottom rail from falling off here. It's I'll just put a little bit of pressure down here. I'm kind of bending it in the wrong way, aren't I? Okay, now if we can get this up, just hooked in behind there. There, I heard it actually click in place. All right, now don't move. And don't poke at it. Maybe from the front here. here. Now I'd really like to be able to bring the camera more in line with everything but then I won't be able to get in here myself. Okay, now is that going to stay there? No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, maybe I'm going to have to try and put a little bit more of a, of a curve, tighten the radius here just a little bit. How am I going to do that? Get this back out of the way. Okay. Got to try and watch that I don't block everybody's light. Put that on there and then push like this. What's going to happen? Right now the auto ISO is probably just jumping like crazy. You might notice all of a sudden the uh, image becomes very grainy. That's what happens when it gets dark. Okay, that's somewhat better. Now we'll see if I can just get in there and pull it back out just a little bit. down to this other post. No, that's not that's not right. I think I gotta try and straighten this if I can here. Oh, just a little bit here. Straighten it by squeezing on it. Or maybe uh, the flat tweezers would do it. I gotta get a bit, a bit more of a radius going on here. Maybe a different tweezer. See, the idea is to put a gentle bend on it, not a sharp bend. See, I can glue this post right here in the right place, but then I won't be able to draw, draw it around. 
You know what, I'm going to have to turn the camera off, folks, and try and get in there a little bit. Uh, maybe, maybe with a dowel. Something like this. It's about a three-eighths inch dowel, or no, quarter inch maybe. Bend it around that. How would that work? Let's try that. Now, once again, the light is probably going to go absolutely nuts here. Okay, now, bend it around. Is that working? Yeah, I think it did. Well, maybe the thing to do is get that bottom rail in place and just let the pinhead glue onto the deck and then break it loose later. You know what? This is not going to match up properly. I'm going to have to try and somehow bend this back out. reshaped the railing in a lot of places and you might notice it looks a little bit maybe kinked but I'm thinking that once it's all glued down I should be able to straighten it now another thing is I cannot leave the camera like this I have to swing it around okay now I realize that angle is not any good for you but now I can get in there a lot easier tried this yet so I don't know if it's uh, if I improved things or not but I kind of think I did maybe if I hook on this side of the post I can kind of draw it back and reposition a little bit here Okay, so if I can push down and pull back at the same time, it might help to tighten the radius on that bend there. Now we'll just worry about this one little part here. I, I wish this bottom rail was a little closer to the bottom of the... It's not quite right, is it? Well, that, that's some better. Yeah, if I could get it to glue right there. Wonder maybe that's too much glue. Maybe I should uh, use the cigarette lighter on the end of my applicator here. Okay. Just... Now I know I can go around this later with the paintbrush if I have to. If I uh, notice that there's a lot of, uh, you know, CA shining, that'll catch your eye. Now. I realize that that's the rest of the railings in, in terrible position, but I think once that CA sets, then we can uh, straighten it out. Let's just give it a few minutes. RCA is about as cured as it can possibly get here. Now I know this looks like a real horrendous mess here. Maybe I should be using something a little different to try and push that into place because I might be scratching. And we don't want it scratched any worse than absolutely necessary here. just get this get this one rail down in behind here behind the uh, ledge poke it here yeah that sort of works it looks like it's going to be just about the right length I know it's really looks like it's quite badly bent and crooked but I 
do believe that we can straighten this all up once the CA is cured. Now if I can just get this one to see what where should I push down on this without bending something? Maybe about right here. No, that's Ooh, I bent it. Oh shoot. Let's see what happened. I... Well I'll straighten it up later. You know what? It's almost in the right place right there. Maybe I put a tiny bit of CA right there at this post. See if we can lock it in place and not glue our pinhead to the deck. Well, that's not a very good angle. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, second try here. I've changed applicators. I come in and just sort of drop it down, all being well. Okay, let's just leave that now. Pretty sure that's enough. Now I had to move you over onto the left side here again, so I could move my pin here. And we'll try and twist it around. Let's see if we can't just pull this next little section into place here. Now, maybe I can just go one up. What will happen? Am I going to bend it? Or is it going to glue in place there? Alright, let's just see if we can't glue it in place like that. I know it's bent over to the right pretty bad, but that's okay. We can straighten that later. The main thing is let's try and get that bottom rail, which you probably can't see too well, in the right spot. As you can see here, I badly bent that rail down, but we, we can straighten that later, and I've changed back to my other applicator. Seems that I have a hard time not touching something else. Okay, now, all being well, we should be able to get that pin off of there without uh, wrecking anything. Let's just let that cure. I'm wondering if maybe I should uh, do the other section that goes out almost to the bulkhead. There is going to be a bit of a, uh, of a gap there. Now that railing is not bent back quite as bad as it looks. But I couldn't hold that. Uh, maybe I should be moving my pusher downer here. Just very, 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 very lightly. Is this going to work or isn't it? Does that look like it uh, pulled it into place? You're on the complete opposite side of me, so. Okay, I think. Oops. Went too far. Yeah, I think we got it. I think that's it. Just don't move. When I was editing out that last scene there, my telephone rings. And I don't recognize the call display and I almost didn't answer it. I get probably 10 telemarketing calls to one legitimate call, so I'm kind of leery about answering the phone if I don't have to. And if you remember, I think it was on Saturday, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this at least to somebody, that uh, I had called around to find out about the easy line. And the guy that I talked to here in Winnipeg, he said, well, I'll see if I can get it. And if you don't hear from, from me by Monday night, well, that, that means I, I couldn't get it. And uh, well, anyway, it turns out it was him and he found a place in Calgary. Well, I told him that, um, now those of you who read the comments, you will probably have noticed that Tony had offered to get us the easy line. And, uh, and I know I didn't talk a whole lot about it, but uh, I, I think that what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take Tony up on his very generous offer, not only uh, for myself, but on behalf of the viewers. Now, I, I know I could use thread here. That's why I brought this out here. This is number, I think it's number 50 or is a number you can't buy number 10 thread anymore i think it's all 50 
Anyway, it uh, doesn't matter. This is the black thread I have. And I'm going to put my macro lens back on and show you the difference between thread and easy line. Now the first thing you should notice is that the thread is uh, somewhat larger in diameter than the easy line. The easy line is probably, I'm guessing, half the diameter. Um, however, thread always looks like thread. Now when, when I uh, used thread on the Titanic and Lusitania, what I did was I stretched it out and then I sort of uh, uh, burned off the little fuzzy things and I know there's another way you can do it you can sort of wax them down too but you know thread always looks like thread whereas this easy line it actually looks like it could be wire of course it's rubber um, yeah and it, it's uh, quite stretchy uh, it, it just looks better now I know uh, you know when you're looking at the Bismarck from you know, three, four feet back, you're not going to notice the difference that it's whether it's thread or easy line. But if you look at it close up, uh, it'll just be one more detail that will help to offset the fact that uh, I've made a lot of other mistakes. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, I think we'll we'll accept Tony's very generous offer here uh, on behalf of all the viewers as well as myself. Okay, very, very gently now. That seemed to stay in place. All right, let's uh, try and straighten some of these bad places up. I'll put the macro lens back on and move right in again. Now, I would say that probably the most obvious is this rail right here and bend it up a bit. Okay, let me check the monitor. That's not bad. How about this one here? Up just a tiny bit maybe? Yeah, that looks better. Now the very end here, it doesn't look quite right. It's trying to squeeze it together to flatten it out. I think that did help a little but not very much. And you maybe you can't see it from your angle right here but this uh, kind of needs to go this way a little bit. I'm looking more straight down on it than you are. Once again I'm blocking your light. Okay, I think that's somewhat better. Oh, a little bit more yet. i got to be careful here that I don't push it off. Maybe use two fingers. Uh, now I've kind of bent that rail down a little bit. Okay. Well, once again, folks, we have run out of time today, and we got a big, long video here. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.